in the situation where the truth is actually positive? Well then, only two things can happen. Your test can be positive, in which case it will reflect the truth, so you'll have a true positive, or your test can be negative, and that negative will be wrong, because the truth is actually positive, and so you'll have a false negative. In this situation, it is a given that the truth is positive. What we're interested in is how well the test reflects this fact. To quantify this, we use conditional probabilities. So in the first example, where the test accurately reflects the truth, which is positive, we have the probability that the test is positive given the fact that the truth is positive. In the second case, where the test is wrong, it's the probability that the test is negative given the fact that the truth is positive. We call the probability of testing positive, given the fact that the truth is positive, the sensitivity of the test, or the power of the test. And because there's only two possibilities, i.e. the test is either right or wrong, then each probability is 1 minus the other probability. So say 100 people have a disease, and they all take a test telling them whether they have the disease or not. If the sensitivity of the test is 85%, then 85 of the people who have the disease will test positive for the disease, and 15 people will test negative even though they have the disease. In the situation where the truth is negative, well, again, there's only two things that can happen. The test can be wrong, or the test can be right. When the test is wrong, your test shows positive, but because the truth is negative, then that positive you have is false, and you have a false positive. When the test is right, the test is a negative, and because the truth is negative, then that negative you got in the test is a true negative. In this situation, it's given that the truth is negative. What we're interested in is how well the test reflects that fact. And again, we use conditional probabilities. In the second case, it's the probability that the test is negative, given the fact that the truth is negative. And the name of this probability is the specificity of the test. So the specificity of the test is the probability that the test is negative, given the fact that the truth is negative, whereas the sensitivity of the test is the probability that the test is positive, given the fact that the truth is positive. So in both cases, what sensitivity and specificity are about is about how well the test can spot something. How well can the test spot a positive? That's the sensitivity. How well can the test spot a negative? That's the specificity. And lastly, just to give you an example of specificity. Say 100 people do not have a disease, but they get tested anyway for that disease. If the specificity of the test is 84%, that means that 84 people will test negative for the disease, but 16 people will test positive for the disease, even though they don't have it.